Okay, this is part two of the Aftermath DTV transition and also how to simulate analog broadcast. As I mentioned in part one, that I have a transmitter to simulate analog broadcasting. This is the device. As I said, it ranges about 500 feet radius, which means it only works inside your house. When you go outside, it doesn't really give a good signal. So, because of the low range, it will not interfere with neighboring homes. And so what I've done is I've taken my full setup here as you can see the VCR DVD player recorder and up there at the top the cable box and it's all connected to this switcher here and from there it goes to this little box and as a result we have simulated broadcasting in analog and to prove it I'm going to show you on this TV plus a couple other TVs okay as you can see this is channel 17 because that's what the box is tuned to and to prove it we're going to change channels see so that's showing a simulated broadcast now this TV is right next to the box so what I'm going to do now is show you on another TV the same image where the TV is located in another room okay we're now in another room where the TV is not near the box and as usual this is the famous Hitachi TV and there as you can see it's tuned to channel 62 the standard channel still in analog now I'm going to show you the signal coming from that box on channel 17 just to let you know that's 52 also the standard analog now we're going down to 17 and there it is channel 17 from that little box and look how clear that image is I have the cable box tuned to TV land so that way I can watch different cable channels remotely from this TV now you think that's neat I have seven other units located in the house and they're all tuned to different channels and I'm going to show you those now okay here's two more of those transmitters one believe it or not is tuned to channel 21 and the other one is tuned to channel 27 now right now these two units are off since you don't see a red light and these two units 
each one is hooked to these old VCR and DVD units. The VCR still works fair, but the DVD unit doesn't work at all. The DVD drive went bad on it. So I'm using it just as a tuner. And I have the DVD unit tuned to our cable channel 4, which is 21 from Youngstown. So when this unit here, I believe it's this one, is turned on, it is tuned to 21. So now I can simulate the analog broadcast of channel 21 on UHF channel 21. And the same goes with this unit. This one's tuned to 27. And likewise, the VCR is tuned to channel 6, which is channel 27 out of Youngstown on cable. And being that those two boxes are on 21 and 27, I can now simulate both 21 and 27 like as though they really never left the analog airwaves. Now, of course, as I said, these only operate 500 foot range. So I'll show you the results on different TVs in different locations on these two units. So that way you'll know that the signal from these boxes do not go beyond the limits of transmitting a signal. So we're going to head back up to the Hitachi TV and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean with these two boxes. Okay, here we are back at the Hitachi TV. We're going to turn it on, wait for it to warm up, and there as you can see, we left it on 17. And now, I'm going to show you 21. And there it is. And as you can tell from this location, it looks like 21 never went off the air. Giving you a close up of the image so that you can really see it. Okay. Flashing back the numbers just to let you know. If we could just kind of patch this up, and he said absolutely not. So this is the living room. That is the living room, and the other one's okay. the bedrooms. Okay. Now I'm going to show you 27. And there's 27. Just like as though it never left the airwaves analog-wise. Now, as I said, the boxes are only 500 foot range. So now I'm going to take you to another location and just show you how limited the transmission signal is. I'll take you down to my studio and show you on the big TV down there.